The following segment is brought to you by Live Well New York. Visit LiveWellNewYork.com to find out how. There's no reason to completely deny yourself tasty food during the holidays, but if you must indulge and happen to go a little overboard, why not get a head start on keeping your waistline in check? Dr. Peter McCann shows us how to do it starting right now. It's the holidays and we all love to eat, drink, and be merry while perhaps slacking off and working out to accommodate the party schedule. Who hasn't said, ah, I'll diet and exercise in January? That may not be your best idea, according to Dr. Peter McCann, chairman of orthopedics at Beth Israel Medical Center. The exercises for New Year's resolutions should start today and not in January. Our bodies are so efficient at storing energy that that one glass of wine or the one can of beer will require you to run a mile the next day to burn it off. Dr. McCann says when you are not physically active, the consequences can be severe. There are many studies to show that being overweight is a medical risk, higher rate of diabetes, higher rate of hypertension. Cardiovascular diseases are directly related to being overweight and not being fit, and these are the major killers in our society today. Which exercise should we get? Well, that too is a little startling. Have at least 20 minutes of aerobic activity, which is enough to increase your heart rate, get a little sweat. Three times a week is the minimum. Treadmill, if you're a jogger, you can certainly do that. Everyday activities such as walking up that extra flight of stairs, that certainly contributes to burning up calories. Swimming especially is a great total body exercise because it works all the muscles and it's not impact loading so it saves the joints. But it's not just cardio. We should also incorporate strengthening and stretching. You can really use the same principles we use to rehabilitate injured limbs, either after athletic injuries or after surgical treatment. The shoulder, for example, I can teach patients a home exercise program concentrating on flexibility and strength. There's a lot you can do on your own in your bedroom and in your gym. Well, show us. I'd love to. The most important one to start with is stretching up in front of you. That's called forward elevation. Slide all the way up, close your armpit into the wall, hold it five seconds, and then come on back. Now we're going to do some strengthening exercises. All you need is a rubber band and a doorknob. The shoulder goes in four basic directions. It's a row pulling back, a press pushing forward, internal rotation, and then external rotation. Dr. McCann says if you do all of the above, you can avoid disease and stay healthy even while you are merrymaking. Nice. 